Jojo and this is the sound of Jojo. So I went back to the theatre yesterday, I got to see another show, and so the show we're going to talk about today is Mary Poppins. <laughs> Okay, so the title of this video is far more dramatic than the content of the video itself. No, I don't hate Mary Poppins, but I thought I'd go with a title like that because it's kind of clickbaity, and because I do have some negative feelings towards this musical that are different from feelings I have about any other musical. Negative feelings towards the musical version of Mary Poppins are not. I don't like X, Y, and Z about it. No, it's all to do with when it first entered my life. Way back in 2010 I had just gone to the theatre to see my first real musical, that being Wicked. Now I made a video not that long ago about my feelings on Wicked, because they're kind of weird, but at the time, right after I first saw it, I was obsessed. For me at age 15, Wicked was the best thing since Twilight because I had a big Twilight phase. And after its run at the Capitol Theatre in Sydney was over, it left and Mary Poppins came and was playing there. And to me, at 15 years old, that meant somebody had deemed it a better musical than Wicked, which was unforgivable. How dare anything in the world be better than Wicked? Obviously my feelings are very different now. Now obviously I did go and see it back then, and I did enjoy it. But my feelings on it as a musical always came secondary to it being the musical that kicked Wicked out of the theatre. From back in 2010 to yesterday, that was my main thought about the musical. And after yesterday, it is still the same thought actually. So now that we've established my reasons for titling this video the way we did, I'm actually going to talk about it because it was great. Because it's been so long, it's hard to say how my feelings from yesterday stack up with my feelings from 12 years ago, but I feel like they're much the same. Because in the moment, sitting in the theatre watching it, it was a lot of fun, but by next week I'm pretty sure I won't be thinking about that too much. Contrast that with Six, which I saw at the beginning of March, and I have listened to that opening number so many times. Really, it's only the first number that I've listened to, but I've listened to it a lot. Point being, the musical version of Mary Poppins is not going to stick around in my head more than it did after the last time I saw it. But in the moment it was so much fun. Our cast was incredible. I didn't really look at the cast boards too much, so I don't know whether we had too many standbys or understudies on that. We did have an understudy playing Mary Poppins yesterday, not the main girl, but I'm not sure about the cast members beyond that. As I said, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to the cast boards, but whoever was on yesterday for any of the roles, they were amazing. Now if you haven't seen the stage version of Mary Poppins, you might not know that it is very, very different from the film. So there wasn't even a single thought in my head during the entire time about comparing them to the movie, which while that is completely unfair to do, sometimes it's inevitable. But that was not the case with this time because it's a very different version of the story, and so all the actors have complete freedom and can interpret the characters any way they want. And they were all great. Michael especially was hilarious. The kid who played him did a great job. And it is a very involved musical. Obviously it's Mary Poppins, so we have her flying on the umbrella. And at the very end she actually flies over the stalls. Now we were sitting in the stalls, but at the very 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 back of the theatre. We were back far enough that the dress circle was right above our heads. So she wasn't flying directly over us. And I'm really glad that I was sitting in the stalls. Not only because, well, I like the stalls so much better, because Dress Circle gives me vertigo, but also because while I don't remember a lot from when I saw it last time, we were in the Dress Circle that time, and I do remember some of it, so I'm glad I could see it from a different vantage point. But honestly, Mary Poppins Flying is not the most impressive stunt they pull in the show. That one has to go to Step in Time. I had completely forgotten about it until the song started. But when Step in Time started I remembered, oh my god, yeah Bert walks on the ceiling doesn't he? I don't know how they do it and honestly I don't think I want to know how they do it, but during Step in Time Bert walks right to the end of the stage and then he starts walking up the side of the stage and he keeps going right until he gets to the very top and then he keeps going until he is upside down on the ceiling essentially, and I don't know how he does it. Especially since 
the tune of the song means the audience can clap along to the beat. And at the point in the song where he is literally hanging off the ceiling, the beat's actually pretty quick and he just keeps walking. He doesn't walk quite to the beat of the song, he walks a bit slower, but at that point in the song the beat's really fast so I don't know how you can expect him to do that. Either way that stunt is insane and definitely the most impressive thing. I still think Step in Time as a song is overrated. Even with the movie I thought it was kind of overrated. But there is one thing the musical does better than the film and that is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. The way they do this number in the stage musical is so so much better than it is in the film. It's very different from the film not only in terms of when and where the scene is set in the story but the song's been almost entirely rewritten and with the rewrite they spelled the word over and over and over and over and over again so if you listen to the song enough you can actually learn how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious if you want to. S-U-P-E-R-C-A-L-I-F-R-A-T-I-L-I-S-T-I-C-E-X-P-I-A-L-I-D O-P-I-O-U-S I was trying to say that slow when then it didn't really work because I started singing. And that was absolutely my favourite part of the show. It was my favourite part of the show last time and it was my favourite part of the show this time. The new lyrics they added for this one are just hilarious and in addition to spelling it over and over and over and over again there's some very intense and involved dance moves and not only that they bring said dance moves back at the end of the curtain call. So that is my absolute favourite song. Now, even though it's been substantially rewritten, obviously Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is not completely new. My favourite song that was completely written for the musical is Anything Can Happen, and that was the case the last time I saw it. Going to see it yesterday just sort of reaffirmed everything I had already thought about it. I think I have finally forgiven it for being the show that kicks my favourite musicals out of the theatre. No, I definitely have forgiven it for being the show that kicks my favourite musicals out of the theatre. But that will always be my first thought when I think of Mary Poppins the musical. How much I enjoyed it and what great fun it was and the fact that I can spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious in a really really short amount of time will always be secondary thoughts to it being the show that kicked Wicked out of the Capitol Theatre. But if you give me a minute to think that then I can move on to my next thoughts, which are it's an amazing production, our cast was incredible, I still think I like the movie more, I definitely prefer Mary Poppins Returns over both of these, but I'd still say I like the movie more, but Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is a million times better on stage. And I'm very very glad I saw it, and I would absolutely recommend it. And I'm sure unlike me you don't have some personal vendetta against it that might impede your enjoyment of it. So absolutely go and see this one. It's not going to be in Sydney for much longer, Cinderella's coming to the Lyric in October, so if you're in Australia jump on it. But no matter where you are, if you can see this at some point, go and see it. And that's everything I've got for today, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, have you seen Mary Poppins on stage before? And if you have, what are your thoughts? Do you like it more than the film version or is the film version still your fave? And what is your favourite song that does not appear in the film? Mine is definitely Anything Can Happen. Stay safe guys, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next time. So long for a while!